Hey everybody, it's this found 82 and we are going to be doing normal things because I, uh, well, are using the normal goat today. Because I figured I would start taking a look at two things that I have otherwise not really touched upon. Uh, which still exist in the normal game. So let's lick Lossy here. And next we're going to start collecting bodies for the goat sacrifice. Which I should have been doing a while ago, because I'm told it's actually a pretty oh, awesome... Lobby. Come on, Wassie. Get your shit together. There we go. Uh, I think it's somewhere up in the woods around here. So let's take a look. I don't think it's like up there, but I think it's up that way. So let's lick a guy. And then try and find our Satan altar. Because that's what you do when you're a goat. Apparently. Well, it's one of the many and varied things you can do as a goat. Alright. Where in the hell? Maybe it is this way. Um, This way, I think. But I also finally came in and looked up a video. Ah, there. I see torches. Uh, of where the goddamn enlarging hole is. So we're going to take a look at that. Or the size changing hole, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it says five all the way around the outside. I'm going to assume we can get five people. Man, that's disorienting. Okay. Ah, we can get people from right over here. That's handy. Come on, Armin. If that's your real name. Armin Tamsarian, maybe? No, I mean, that's... Old, old Simpsons. I don't even know if people are going to get that reference. Come on. Come on, Armin. It was actually one of those episodes that apparently almost got, you know, nixed because Fox was afraid it would offend people. Or that's just what I heard. I don't know how true that is. A friend who's been slowly going mad and watching every single season of The Simpsons in a row, so... That's something impressive, I guess. We need to get to stop you from running away, lady. Come on, line. No, not wheelbarrow. Line. Oh, damn it, line is stuck in the wall. Oh, good lord, that's terrifying. Uh, let's leave line there. I'll take mole. Or mole, perhaps. I'm not sure. I'll go with mole. Because it sounds like a delicious, delicious sauce. I mean, probably know it's Swedish. It could be Molly. Maybe his name's Molly. Maybe it's secretly Molly Ringwald. If only I could kill them more. No, I shouldn't say that. I don't even... I have a vague recollection of Molly Ringwald past that she had a career in the 80s and I think some of the 90s, perhaps. So basically what I'm saying is I don't have a recollection of Molly Ringwald and I don't care. I know that she was an actress or possibly a musician and that guy is orbiting me. There we go, tree got him. No, keep coming. There we go. I think you'll need one more. But after we've checked this out, we'll go check out the goat hole. Come on, asshole. Where are you? Really? There we go. What the hell were you even caught on? I want my mommy. Yeah, well, you're gonna get Satan instead, so deal with it. God damn it, asshole. Come here. I want my mommy. I do get a bit annoyed when there's actually something you have to do. And they kind of, uh, get caught on you. So, one or two more. We'll find out. It said, looks like it says five, so I'm assuming five. Come on. At least Marie is a really easy name to figure out. Let me just start calling the other guy Mole. Molly, Molly, Mole. I don't want to offend people who have moles or are played by Fred Savage. There we go. That's sexy. 
No, he's horrifying. Blood for the blood goat. Uh, if I recall, this special ability allows me to uh, create. A, apparently, I did something. A ball of human flesh, essentially. Got that? Yes. I'm creating a people catamari. Unfortunately, crap is getting in the way of my fill or completing my people catamari. My nose itching is getting in the way of me actually holding the mouse in place. I'm not even sure that's supposed to be getting caught, or objects are supposed to be getting caught on it like that. I just think, oh god, what the hell is happening? Uh... What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? My goat is flipping his shit. Reach for the stars? Hey, that's nice. Maybe I'll get that really big-ass score. I doubt it, but maybe I will. Reach for the stars, yay! I'm getting it a lot, so... I mean... Good God. Um... I, I don't know what's going on at this point, or if I... I don't know how to stop it. I don't know if I should stop it. This is probably the most entertaining thing I've seen to date in the Goat Simulator. So, I'm just gonna see what happens for a little bit. Um... Ragdoll, maybe? Ragdolling doesn't seem to have changed anything. Oh, God. I'm, <laughs> uh, I s certainly have, uh, yeah, I've reached for those stars quite a lot, apparently. Oh, good God. I ended up, where, I am stuck in that wall. Oh, I popped out of it, but what in the hell? Oh, it's still orbiting me, that's why. All right, well, um. This, uh, the goat seems to have a slight flaw. Oh, there's the goat hole. Um, maybe we'll be able to get close to that eventually. Um, I'll bet if I hit R again and turn off the ability, it'll stop. I should probably do that at some point. Alright, everything's fine. Totally fine. Alright, let's go check out the goat hole. Alright. Yeah. It was right over there, where I passed roughly a billion times looking for it. Oh, there's a goat statue. And I'm stuck in a wall. Yay! I unlocked Feather Goat. Oh god. Well, I'm larger. Let's do that again. I'm still larger, I think. I'm very small. I'm micro goat. I don't want that. It seems to do it entirely at random. Well, I think I'm back to normal size, actually. I can't tell. Let's go in again. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's... I think it just does it entirely at random. Yeah, I'm definitely Micro Goat now. I don't want that. I want to be Super Goat. I think that's probably big. Let's go find someone and find out, because... Yes, I'm definitely bigger. I'm still not big enough to hurt that car, though. But I don't think you can. <gasps> I will, however, now pick up another ball of crap and see what happens. Apparently, I am more prone to, uh, taking flight. 
when I am large. Because it only took like three, four little objects. Well, we're, um, we are damn sure reaching for the stars. And now I'm caught in the construction site. Very horrifyingly. There's one other thing I should look for while I'm out here. So let's land, hopefully, <laughs> back by the goat hole. Um, actually, I might, nah, we'll go with this. What I am looking for now, let me remember not to hit R, but I hit the lick button. Ah, here we go. It's the bacon beacon. Um, stop that goat. Lick bacon. And now we are going to look for the area that I was completely sure I had already figured out what to do with it, but had not actually figured out what to do with it. Let's take the bacon beacon. And this is a good as er, as good as anything to uh, end on. Trying not to just stare directly at the goat saying Not that type of YouTube channel. Something you have to do here. Right, lick it. No. Fling myself wildly off in another direction. Ah, there we go. That's right. We've summoned a goat's butthole. No, a flying saucer. And this. will. launch us into space. There's literally nothing you can do here. And it is literally, there's nothing. So, that's it. The asteroid kind of wonkies at, or wonkies around in circles. You can see the Earth. I think spinning 11 times sends you back, or at least that's what someone said. Uh, no, no, it doesn't appear to. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, nope. That does not appear to have done anything. But hey, that's fine. It's a good place to call it. We're a demon goat in space, so... I think we've, uh, proved our point. So, thank you all for watching, and next time we'll take a look at the other goats again. So, till then, peace out.